Hello and guten Tag to Warthana with Lutsch Dahlhagel. I wish you all the best for the Christmas holidays. And I'm flying out here my F6F Hellcat, one of my favorite planes right now. As you can see, I did not record this game here while I was playing, but I thought this game um, was so kind of awkward or so good that it was worth a replay recording, and that's what I did. So I hope you have fun with it. I'm playing my Hellcat here like a boom and zoom plane. Um, I'm playing my Hellcat in a different or in a, in a kind of special style. Here's my first victim, the Russian Shiker, a very good turner. Um, yeah, I'm playing the Hellcat in a very special way. In the first parts of the matches I'm playing it like a boom and zoom plane. And if I make sure that I um, yeah, nearly killed all planes that are good in turn and burn, like the I-16 or the Chikas, as you've seen before here, I will turn this thing into a turn fighter and fight Yak-1s, Yak-9s and try to do the best with it. And especially I like Lag-3s, they are really bad turners, they are kind of uh, fast. So I take out the fast and the agile ones first and then turn fight with this nice little machine. If you stay at high speeds, or around about 300 to 400 kph, this plane is a very good turn fighter. And this leg pilot here, I guess he was AFK or just was flying while he was on the desktop. And he was just a very poor victim. I, I was thinking when he went back to the game he just saw his plane burning and was destroyed. So there was the first two kills. One kill was... I would say a piece of cake or a gift to me for Christmas. And here we have our next customer, LA-5. The LA-5s are very good energy fighters. That means they are not good in a very special quality, like for example the Spitfire in turning um, or the uh, F4U in having high speeds and boom and zooming. They are like the BF-109s, uh, jack of all trades and kind of good in everyone. They do not excel in one quality, and that's why it's easy to fight it in a Hellcat, because you can outturn it if he wants to outturn or uh, turn fight with you. Um, I broke off here for the first time because I was realizing there's a guy on my six, and I really need to take care first that I don't get hit. And there he comes. I misjudged the angle of this guy. I thought he was taking more time to maneuver. And then got a really good shot, or a very good hit of him, to my engine, leaking oil and coolant. But as you might know, the F6F is a very, very, very tough plane. You can fly a long time with oil or coolant leaking. And so that's why I tried to fight him some more. I was thinking I might have run about 3 to 5 minutes before my engine or my oil gets too hot and I won't be able to return to base. And here comes another opponent. I was thinking, okay, let's focus on the Yak-1. It's the most dangerous or the more dangerous opponent and he's going after one of my teammates. And here the silliness starts. Um, what do I mean by silliness? Well, you might see it in some seconds or in a minute. Um, it's kind of a realistic battle silliness and an arcade battle normal all day life. For example, as you can see here, I'm on a 6 on enemy, having a superior position, and my teammates are trying to farm the kill, and they do not really care about me. They're just seeing the kill in their eyes, and look, look this here, look at this. That was so close. Three planes on one guy, and they all want to make sure that they get the kill, and that's just ignore that I'm already on his 6 and might get the kill, so they stayed up and might cover me. No way. I think you will encounter this mostly in arcade battles, but sometimes, as you can see here, in realistic battles too. I then let off of the guy and um, had enough of his uh, other teammates. Um, was afraid that they might ram me. I went back to base, rearmed, and I think let's have some more ground kills and equipped it some rockets here, as you can see, the HVAR rockets, some very fast and heavy hitting um, ground attack rockets here. And then I dis discovered, or then I um, encountered the last opponent and was thinking, well, the game was silly overall. 
let's try to shoot him down by rockets. And uh, I must admit that I never shot down a guy with the HVR rockets. But look at this here. Boom! Bullseye! Perfect hits with my rockets and ripped the plane apart. So yeah, that's it for the game here. We won the game. That was the last hit. I hope you had fun with this game here. Wish you nice holidays and see you next time. Do your best on the battlefield. Bye!